Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here on yet another glorious Bagel Sunday. The first glorious Bagel Sunday with the Osmo Action 3. Testing something out today, because I've had nothing but problems with the SD cards. I put in the SanDisk 128 gig card yesterday, and it formatted, it filmed. I went and picked up ramen. I started and stopped it a few times, no problems. So today I decided to pull another SanDisk card out of the X3, like I said. Now this one is 512 gigs, which is twice the recommended size. Now I've seen a bunch of people say that they put in 400 gig SanDisk cards and didn't have a single problem. So today, although I am going to bring a couple of cards with me in my adventures, I'm gonna go with this 512 SanDisk and see how it works. It seems like everybody, by everybody I mean Adam and, and Yankee Cowboy, that uh, they're digging the way this all looks. Looks great. I did test it last night by putting it on, um, what do you call it? Uh, the Cine, D, like Cine D or D Cine or whatever the hell, you know, where it really flattens it out. And it was just too flat, even for me. And, um, I decided that I did not like it. It was it was too desaturated, and there's no way that I'm color grading any of this footage because, yeah, I don't do that shit. So yeah, I'm gonna be playing with this camera and, and trying to get things figured out. I'm still hoping that uh, DJI gets back to me about it because, you know, like if this is a problem with this camera, and unfortunately if it needs to get sent back, then that'll be annoying. Again, if I didn't have this SD card problem, this seems like this is a, like a total win for me. Uh, small, easy to carry around. Picture looks great. Sound looks good. Um, I mean, I guess the sound even sounded good whether I was using the internal mics or this DJI wireless. So all around a win-win. Uh, I love this new setup. I, I can't say enough how much I love this freaking new setup in this Forerunner. Uh, you know, by being realistic and, and taking all that huge shit out, you know, including trying to film with a full-size, full-frame camera. I mean, which certainly it had its place, but yeah, this is going to be tough. So, oh, by the way, last night, because I had this ram mount ball here, and it's a one-inch ball, I ended up getting, because I had the arm too for it, remember I had that over on this side for my uh, work phone, but now I've got it over there, I decided to just go ahead and get uh, the little ball thing with uh, the, what do you call it, uh, like this camera mount, the, the action cam camera mount, just because it's not like I don't film and I don't have a thousand cameras, right? Yeah. <laughs> No, but what I can do is then I can I can put the uh, Insta360 RS over there facing forward, and you can get forward, uh, you know, motion footage and all that kind of shit in addition to time lapses and everything whilst I'm out driving around like an idiot all over the place. My friend Jennifer is now in town. We're going to hook up after snarfing bagels, uh, I would imagine, and um, go do stuff. So yay, yay for my friend Jennifer being here, hopefully for, you know, the foreseeable future. Uh, always nice to have a good friend to hang out with. So, okay, let's go get bagels. Bagels gotten. Let's go snarf bagels. Okay, kids. Turned it on and off again. It's still coming on. Going to continue to knock on monkey wood. Okay, we're going to head to Pleasure House Point now. I'm going to meet Jennifer there. Uh, and we're going to walk because it's supposed to start thunderstorming in between 2 and 3. So we figured we would knock this walk out earlier while it's still, you know, sunny and the hottest time of the day. It's 85 degrees, wicked humid. Um, yeah, we're going to be schwitzing, but that's all part of it, right? I put on the ND8 filter because I'm going to be out in, in pretty much direct sunlight. Uh, you know, I just want to sort of keep things in perspective. I don't want to be totally lazy and not ever put it on because it will get blown out if I'm out. You know, it can only compensate so much. I did not want to go full auto on the ISO though because it would go way up and it gets grainy. So no more than 3200. 
Okay, I'm going to shut up now because I'm just blathering on and I'd rather have more in the video of me being in Pleasure House Point. You're okay, dude. If anyone that isn't going to fuck with you, it's us. <laughs> now, why was he there? Is there something that he was eating? Maybe it's just a good vantage point. Oh, yep, there's a crab. Watch. Yeah. Baby wonder why why he was so reluctant to leave, yeah. and now he'll fly back over. We didn't touch your leftovers. Go ahead, you can go back. Okay. Well, as long as I got it here. Okay, so here we are. Me and Jennifer, we're out uh, walking around Pleasure House Point. It's hot as balls, and. Uh, could be worse. Yeah, it, it, de it could definitely be worse. It, it's not 100, but still. Uh, we just came across that yellow-crested night heron. We interrupted his lunch because we see what's left of the crab that he was munching on. So now we're going to be heading into the woods for some blessed shade. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yippee. So testing this out. I mean, I got the ND8 filter on so you can see clouds. You can see differentiation. All the colors look good. I have moved it to ultra-wide. I have it on 4K24 rock steady and no enhanced video, just normal standard color profile. Okay, and we're gonna see how it handles when we walk into the woods, but we'll stop for now. Okay, so here we are going into the woods now, plus the sun went behind the clouds, but this still looks decent with the ND filter on. And I'll let you look at this instead of looking at me. Mm hmm It's relaxing. It's very relaxing, like a nice sheltered zone. Until you walk into a spider web and it goes in your mouth. But well, it's organic. <laughs> I mean the trees aren't too warped, tee hee. Alright, that's enough. Okay, so here we are. We're leaving Harris Teeter. The grocery store. I realized that I needed to get some stuff, so I called her and asked her if there was anything pressing. It looked like I was going to have to go to four different places, and I'm absolutely just not doing that. So I ended up just getting everything crucial at Harris Teeter. So, and some impulse because I bought two pieces of pizza because I'm hungry. So we're going to do that go home and then i don't know i'll probably have to go back out to three ships but for now i'm just gonna go home and take all this stuff down oh and now i'm getting the phone call Jesus. bean has been gotten i don't want to hex myself but i have now after putting in this sandisk 512 gigabyte card had zero problems not a one doesn't tell me that it's slow and it's going to shut off doesn't shut off, hasn't given me a, oh, this SD card isn't in the proper format to work with this, and then caused me to lose everything. Okay, I'm still pissed because I still bought three cards that I can't use reliably. And if I, if I can't feel confident enough to put them in this thing and have it work 100% uh, of the time, then I can't use them. So, okay, for now, I guess it's a SanDisk 512 gigabyte card with a 128 as a backup. Let me know how this sounds and, and looks because now that I've changed settings, now that I've got the different card in there, which shouldn't make a difference in how it looks, but you get the idea. Let me know what it looks like and it sounds like. I've been using the DJI mic all day, but with removing any adjustment, just making it at zero. Again, no plus, no minus. Well, let me know what you think. Let me know how it looks. This is how it's gonna be going forward probably. And that's it. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.